as promised, outfit number two is going to be from A Court of Mist and Fury. Again, there's not really a way to talk about these, even to talk about the characters and their outfits without there being some sort of spoiler. So, spoiler, 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 spoilers. Anyway, Fair is immortal. So, if I am saying that in a way that bugs you, I apologize. That's the way that it was said in the audiobooks I listened to. The outfit I have decided for her, and it is going to be Feyre, the dress we will be making is actually going to be making use of all of that lilac chiffon that I bought when I was under the impression that a, a different dress was purple when it was gray. When they decide to go to the summer court, unfortunately in the coloring book the only thing that we have is this. And while this is beautiful, it doesn't help in design of this dress. The book is chapter 32 for anyone who wants to follow along, I guess. It's selected a flowing lilac dress, its skirts floating on a phantom wind beneath the silver and pearl crusted belt at my waist. Matching night blooming silver flowers had been embroidered to climb from the hem to brush my thigh and a few more twined down the folds at my shoulders. Perfect gown to combat the warmth of the summer court. Matching night blooming silver flowers. In, in my head, what that looks like is like one on each leg kind of thing. It's like starting at the hem, going up, and then a couple up here kind of going down. I don't like that. <laughs> so I'm going to be doing something different. From the observation, it says that she is wearing silver slippered feet. I think at one point they say something about silk silver. She has her hair in a half updo, helped her, and they had curled all of the hair that had been left down. The curls brought out the gold in her hair. Her hair is um, brown gold, golden brown, however you want to say that, I suppose. I think all of the sisters have the same, roughly the same hair color. Well, I'm going to go ahead and do a quick drawing of what I have in mind. As I'm drawing, I'll go ahead and explain what I think is going on. Just as I said, I'm going to be following the description that I read. The bodice is going to be on the tighter side with a v-neck because they do make note of her chest. Also, the skirt is going to be full length. The, there's going to be embroidery. This is what I was thinking of when I read it the first time. And uh, since then, I have kind of changed my mind with that. The belt is still going to be there, but the embroidery is not the best. Okay, so I hate this. But I think instead of like crossing it all out, I'm just going to start over <laughs> and try again. So this is take two. I'm basically just trying to make things more understandable. So the lining itself is going to be made with a solid cotton and it's all basically just going to go underneath of a chiffon that has a lot lighter weight. So that's why there is the different opacity in the drawing. Uh, I, I liked the idea that I had going with the... Um, v-neck being a little bit deeper and the bodice being a little bit tighter so that's what we're working with following the description this is what i came up with this is the second attempt this is the first attempt the second one is a lot cleaner and really that's all i wanted mostly this is just to help everyone visualize what it's supposed to look like before I make it and you can see the whole thing. I didn't need so many details and this actually makes it look a little bit more confusing. Something like this is, is going to be a lot closer to what it's hopefully actually going to look like. 
fabric. Since they don't really talk about what kind of night blooming flowers, um, I'm going to go ahead and take this, spray it silver. We'll see how this turns out. It I am going to let this dry and see what it looks like dried down. It has been going on very smooth, doing exactly what I assumed it would do. So I'm going to wait for this to dry. I'll give it a day and we will come back and see how this looks. So my plan is shifting. I got a good chunk of the uh, lining done was very challenging to me because I haven't ever, like I've done linings before, but it's been mostly just another, like the outer part of the dress, but in a different material so that it like doubles up. But this time I was doing something entirely different. But I think I messed up somewhere. Um, it looks good, but also, like, I have to keep in mind that this is roughly what it's going to look like. I don't know if it's going to be low cut enough, but also secure enough. The skirt portion of the lining, uh, I just did a circle skirt. It's a, I think it's a three-quarter circle skirt. And it comes down to just above my knee. You've seen the embroidery that um, is drying right now. Because uh, I spray painted it silver. And it's drying right now. In the book, the description is, uh, she wears a lot of silk slippers and they're different colors. I think one of the first ones I saw was magenta, but these are the shoes. They are, they seem very slipper-esque to me. Unfortunately, they are this tan color and they are a suede. What I have decided to do, I'm going to take some uh, crepe back satin that I bought for a different project. And I'm gonna try and cover these because they are a little bit big. So I'm hoping that by covering them, just covering where everything is and kind of tucking things under, it's a dupe for silk. And I am also not a high lady. So um, silk to cover shoes seems uh, impractical for me.
like it if I had given myself a little bit more time. I think my, my biggest issue with most things is I don't budget enough time. And for this one, I gave myself a week. That was not enough time. In my sketch, it was like very tight and like more low cut as I was draping it. I'm like, oh no, I like how this looks. <laughs> so it ended up a lot more flowy, which totally could have been the case. There's definitely a way to have ample amount of cleavage showing or eye focusing on certain parts of your body without it also being tight. I, I really don't know why I was thinking the way that I was, but I was. If I had like given myself a little bit more time, it probably would have turned out better. This is another one that I'm probably going to give an update on later. I like it. I did have kind of a a thing that I was going to do for like a reveal. There were a couple of like painting related things that I wanted to do. My battery died and while I was uh, changing it out I decided um, that I would go ahead and change. <laughs> there were a couple that I was interested in doing but nothing that I was interested in doing entirely on its own in the time frame that I had. My second option was kind of like pottery painting is what I've done when I've been there previously but they have a bunch of stuff. I think they have some uh, ceramics classes. I'm not 100% sure. I've only done the painting. I was gonna go and like do a reveal and everything and then I decided that hey maybe it's not a good idea <laughs> for someone who's so um, prone to spilling stuff just everywhere all the time um, if it's on myself and I'm wearing something that I don't want to get spilled on then it's gonna happen <laughs> so I decided that I wasn't going to actually wear it there not gonna be next week's video might be the following one and it takes about a week to get it back so even if I wanted to to show it to you for the next video would not be happening. The next book is going to be from the third book which is A Court of Wings and Ruin and it is probably going to be another one that I am terribly uncomfortable in if for no other reason than it is these I love these bright colors man Anyway, but uh, in the meantime, I hope you have a great day.